Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how to delay by a certain time all the emails that you sent on Outlook. There are many reasons why you may need to do that but the main reason is that in this way you get a chance to cancel on time an email or to change it before it is sent. I will explain exactly what you need to configure and what will happen with your emails after we configure this setting. If you have not activated this feature and you want to cancel an email that you just sent, please find on the description below a link to another video that will help you on this. So let's get started. Let's open first the Outlook and once you have opened it, we need to find the settings about rules. So we just need to go over these tabs here, Home, and then over here you can find Rules. Once you click over rules, you can see manage rules and alerts. We click over that and then it will pop up this window. In order to find rules, there is another way that you can use and you have to do the following. So we go over file and then over here we can see this button here which says manage rules and alerts. We click over here and then it will pop up again this view where we can configure the rules. Because in order to delay all the emails that we need to send, we need to configure a specific rule. So once you see this window, you just have to click over new rule. And then you have to click over start from a blank rule. And we have to apply this rule on the messages that are sent. So we click over apply rule on messages that are sent or on the emails that are sent. And then we click over next. Here we don't have to specify any condition in order to apply this rule so because we want this rule to be applied in all the emails so we click over next then it will pop up this window which will tell this rule will be applied to every message you send is this correct yes and then you have these possibilities here or this rules that you can apply in our case we need this one defer delivery by a number of minutes so we click over here and then we click over this link here and it will pop up this small window where you can specify how many minutes we want to defer the delivery. So by this specific number of minutes, your email will not be sent. So I'm going to specify this to one minute and then I'm going to click over OK. Normally one minute or two minutes should be enough in order to just rethink once again if the email that you sent was not the correct one but you can configure any certain of minutes that you want. And once you do that, we click over next. Over here, we don't need to specify any exceptions. So we just click over next. And here we specify a name for this rule. I will just write delay delivery. And then you have these possibilities here. And I'm gonna click over, turn on this rule. And then we click over finish. This rule will only run when you have open Outlook on this computer. And this rule will not work when you are using the Outlook in another computer or in Outlook web. So this is an information that you have to keep in mind. We press over OK and then we press over apply and then we press over OK. So now let's give it a try. So we go over new email and let's write a new email. I'm just gonna write here test delay delivery once you write the email we press over send and let's see what happens now we can see that this email it goes over the folder outbox and as we can see it's not yet sent in order to verify that i'm just going to go and open once again the mailbox for it's edisula at gmail.com so we can see here there is nothing that i have received yet so after one minute, this email will be sent. So let's wait like one minute and let's see. And if I want to change this email, I just have to click over it and open it. And then I can change something on it. Once the email will go away from your Outbox folder, it means that now it will be sent to the inbox of the other email. So let's have a look. So here we are. The test email has been received to the other mailbox. So basically that's all that you have to do in order to activate this rule on your Outlook. I really recommend this in case that you are sending a lot of emails during your work, it's probably you will need to 
recall some emails or probably you will want to review some emails even after you send them. By using this, you have some time to rethink about these emails. That's all that I wanted to show to you guys. I hope that you liked this video and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.